Only three non-league side have survived into round three. One of those is Castrap Macclesfield. Today they face Sheffield Wednesday at home. Now we gave them the option of a day with Martin or a day with Kevin. They chose wisely. In the distance is Manchester, home to two of the richest clubs in world football. But here in Macclesfield, the football reality is a little bit different. When John Askey and Effie Sodji took over at Macclesfield Town in the summer, the Siltman had only two players and were on the verge of going bust. Six months on, they're pushing for the conference playoffs and face Sheffield Wednesday in the third round of the FA Cup. Despite the ongoing financial problems, on the pitch, the two club legends are holding things together. I think the big thing for myself was that I didn't want to let anyone down. And the last thing I wanted was the club to to uh, to fold while I was in charge. It's galvanised us as a, as a team and uh, there's nothing like an hungry fighter, is there? And uh, we've been very hungry. Yeah. So uh, we live week to week, month to month. So, uh, and the, obviously the FA Cup has been so important to keep the club alive. We've just got to make sure that if we do survive that we run the football club properly because last year it wasn't. Um, and, and it's the club's own fault, really. Um, but while we're in charge, we'll make sure it's run properly. We haven't got a chairman, we haven't got a vice chairman, we haven't got a general manager or chief executive. Um, you know, we, we, the club has been run by guys like myself and about 10 or 12 other people who are putting a lot of hours in to keep the club going. Just for the love of the club? For the love of the club, yeah. Without that, those people, we, we might not have a football club as we speak now. It's for us, for the players, they're living for, you know, playing for their livelihood now. Because obviously, we, as we, the manager said, we live day to day. Uh, the club, lives hour by hour. Yeah. So with this game coming to us, the Sheffield Wednesday is a massive club, which we know. We can win this game in the uh, hat again, and we're laughing. And Macclesfield go into the game banging form. Following a poor start to the season, they've won 11 of their last 16 games and knocked out League One Swindon on their way to the third round. Could there be another upset on the cards? The Cup's a cup, and if it, the conditions are like they are today, then it's a big leveller and hopefully our enthusiasm. And we've got one or two players who can play as well, so uh, hopefully we can cause a, an upset. Is the FA Cup still special? Does it mean something to the players? Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, obviously, the gaffer's been pumping it into us, how special it is, and obviously, the mo every time you win, it's just it brings it on to the, um, into the league as well. Obviously, winning games is the main thing, and that's what we're doing at the moment. Sheffield Wednesday is a massive club, and we've just got to go out and enjoy it. It means, a, it means a hell of a lot to us, yeah. especially, I think, lower league clubs, it mean, it's still the same. And I think it's still the same for supporters. Yeah. It's one day, it's just one day and everybody just psychs up for you. And you're surprised that some people that don't even come to the games, because of the FA Cup, they're coming to the game. It's what you want to do as a footballer. You want to play in front of uh, big crowds and uh, I'm sure they'll be a yard quicker than they, they normally are. What would it mean if you were to win Saturday afternoon? What would it mean to the well, club? Well, it would the simply town? mean that we'd get through the next, we'd pay next month's wages. So yeah. that, we'd pay January wages and possibly a little bit of February. We, we're literally working day to day at the moment, but if we could pull off results, it would ease the financial pressure temporarily. But we, st we still need a lot of money to get through to the end of the season to, to stay and survive. If you were to win, what would it mean to the future of the club? Security for, uh, for oh, quite a few months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and we can pay the mortgage. Yeah. <laughs> You quite enjoyed your visit to the, to the men of Macclesfield and a stark contrast, Kevin, to the, the millions of pounds available in the Premier League, isn't it? Yeah, it brought back a lot of memories when I started out at Preston, very similar environment to that, but it shows what the FA Cup does mean to a lot of supporters, a lot of football clubs up and down the country and it was it was really good, heartwarming experience to be with them yesterday and seeing how they prepare for the game against Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, they beat Cardiff last year, you might remember. They lost to the eventual winners, uh, Wigan, in the end. But Martin, we talk a lot about the FA Cup at this stage of the season, but you see there from Macclesfield, listening to John Askey and Sodji and, and the director as well, there's a real desperation. This is part of their... Mm. You know, the, the, the money that they can get, the sixty seven and a half grand from winning this game, that, that is huge for Macclesfield. Well, that's the other side of it. You know, the FA Cup brings, doesn't it, that extra weight to the club if they're successful but it, you know at, at both ends you know there's 700 teams that take part in this it starts in August it ends in May everyone is given an opportunity to take part in one tournament and I think it's a, it's a truly great competition and to have won it and to you look back and as a player you probably get 10 good opportunities to, to, to make it count and you can't waste them 
And there's that period of the, the clock is ticking for a lot of players. They want to win this, and yeah. there's that desperation. So we hope it's a new winner this year, but it'll probably be one of the big boys who take it, I feel. Inspirational team talk from Kieran, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Managers, replay that to your team before you go out today. Uh, let's have a look at some of the other fixes which we've not um, had a look at so far. Saturday's games, first of all, including Blackburn Rovers against Manchester City. Early game, commentary of that on Five Live. Paul Robinson in goal for Blackburn, by the way, today. First game in a year, suffering with a blood clot. Manchester City have made seven changes.